Recent tension at the uh, legacy media network NBC regarding the hiring of former RNC chair Rana McDaniel. Now this demonstrates once again not only the left's cancel culture furor, but also the extreme lengths the legacy media will go to prevent their audiences from hearing opinions outside their echo chamber. Now, th this is, I would describe this, the cancel culture is like a cancer. It's the cancer culture of cancel. It just spreads. And it is, you know, it started with actually groups like ours, people who held to a historical and biblical definition of marriage and human sexuality that was, I oh, can't have that. But now it has spread to pretty much everything that's conservative. If you're not a apologist for the left and their ideology, you're not welcome. I mean, at NBC, the uproar is even taking place on air as NBC's anchor Chuck Todd publicly attacked the leadership of his own network on Meet the Press yesterday. Now, th this, uh, in fact, let me, let me just play uh, a clip, another clip of, of what he had to say. Uh, play clip number eight, please. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this, because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting. Mm. have been met with character assassination. So it's okay. And now, now, by the way, so Chuck Todd used to be kind of a, a Democrat. He worked in Democratic campaigns. You have George Stephanopoulos, who was in the White House under the Clinton administration. You have uh, Jill Psaki, who was um, at the White House prior to uh, Karine Jean-Pierre as the press secretary in the White House. So if you're a Democrat or a rhino, it's okay. But if you are a conservative, leaning Republican, it's not okay. This should be very, very revealing to people as to what is going on in the media. No longer is it debates. When I started 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, here at the Family Research Council, every week, Almost every week I would be on MSNBC on Chris Matthews' show, Hardball, debating with somebody else. Usually it was three-on-one -on or something like that, but that was fine. We had debates. That doesn't happen anymore. When was the last time you saw a liberal and a conservative actually debating ideas? doesn't happen. Part of it is that the left, and it's different than liberals. The left is different than liberals, okay? Classic liberalism I can deal with that. The leftists you can't deal with because they won't, they will not have a conversation. They don't want a conversation. They don't want to be challenged because they cannot defend their ideas. And that's what we see here with Chuck Todd and the talking heads at MSNBC. They're losing their heads over the fact that a conservative is going to join the ranks as a, just a political commentator, not a talking head, just a political commentator that will come on, a paid political commentator that will come on during the course of this election cycle. So, so think about that for just a moment. They don't want someone like Rana McDaniel on the air at NBC. Now, the, I, I do commend the leadership for actually hiring her. Maybe it was just to kind of show some impartiality when it comes to politics. But this should tell you a whole lot about these reporters and commentators that are on these legacy networks. They do not want your voice to be heard. They do not want someone who shares your conservative perspective. That's why you just need to turn them off and find alternative news and information sources like Washington Watch, like the Washington Stand, and there are others. I mean, Newsmax, I watch Newsmax. And, and I would encourage you to tune into Newsmax and, and, and watch. They give a, a more balanced perspective of the news. It's conservative. I mean, it is conservative. But you will hear voices that you identify with. People have worldviews that you can agree with. This is what has happened in the legacy media. They are hostile to anything that 
is in alignment with a conservative, certainly a biblical worldview. And this is their reaction to it. So I, I strongly, strongly encourage you to be finding alternative sources of news and information, especially as we come into an election cycle like this. They are going to do everything they can to suppress conservative turnout. And they'll do that in a multitude of ways. But the fact that they are throwing a fit by the fact that NBC hired Ronna McDaniel as a contributor, a paid political contributor to be on during this election cycle, tells you a whole lot. Let me play one more clip of, uh, of what uh, Chuck Todd had to say. Uh, clip seven. Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. So I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. So where, where is his answers coming from? What, what is motivating what he has to say? He's paid by N NBC. Uh, he has a clear Democratic political operative background, as George Stephanopoulos does, as Saki has and others at the network. Look, we all come at this with different perspectives. In fact, up until about 15 years ago, it's what made America strong. We came together, we had different views, but we would arrive at a consensus, why? Because we had conversations. Yes, we would have debates, but we would arrive at a consensus. This is what is so dangerous about the left. They wanna shut down all conversations. They want to silence. They want to cancel any voice that runs counter to theirs. Ultimately, they want to silence you. That's why we can't let them turn them off and turn on other alternative news sources.